Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new video or campaign playing as the Caliphate in Hearts of Iron Falls very own Disaster Death of Peace mod. And of course we'll call it the Caliphate. And before we click on this, the Caliph.4.t, we're led by Caliph Abdul Mased. We have the natural spirits, the realm of Islam. We have no central authority. Ooh! Oh, that's so bad! That's so bad! We have High Council Influence, which is okay. And then Fratricide. Mm, not great. But then we have this thing. So we remove the High Council Influence and no Central Authority. So we remove these two. So we get a lot more political power because now we're... Well, that's not too bad. And then we get we get plus zero political power. We get stability. We lose war support and lose research speed. And Omer Farouk the first becomes leader for the Antediluvian Party. Well, we just got rid of Abdul Masad. Goodbye. And Aluma State. In Ulama state. The Ulama have managed to overthrow the Caliph Abdul Majad II and replace him with his son Omer Farouk, now Caliph Omer, the first of whom the Ulama will keep a tight leash. Is it Ulama or Ulama? Hmm. New Order. I always like the New Order, but let's do drawing the land boards to get some more political power. Uh, now let's get the New Orders first. I, I want more stability. With the meddlesome Caliph gone and the Ulama free to do as it wishes, there's been an explosion in the number of religious orders in tar Tarikas? Tarakas. All right, people are killing each other. Embrace the orders, which is okay. I think we'll go redraw the land borders. The local borders will be redrawn, some land will be confiscated, but the former borders left to us by the Ottomans are unacceptable. The reorganization of our internal borders are needed for the betterment of the faithful. Absolutely. We have no factories. Um, this might go very poorly, so we might have to use cons commands to see if we can actually do anything here, but we'll see. I don't want to use cons commands before I have, I have to, so. But I really, as you see here, I just really wanted to declare jihad, so. In the focus tree, do jihad! But public works? Oh, yes, please. We shall build public works on some of the land we have uh, <clears throat> confiscated during the reorganization of our internal borders. And, okay, work on me. That didn't help. <laughs> cool. So we have uh, this group, Chapel's on Construction Agency eventually. Um, anything else here? Nothing that we can really choose yet. We do have eight divisions, but they're Islamic warriors, and they're only eight combo with, with so that's not very good. So we'll see what happens. But public works, yeah, public works. And then embrace the orders. Whether a brand new tariqa that opened yesterday or a thousand year old tariqa with tens or hundreds of kanga, the Alama Council will embrace and absorb all Sufi orders. I apologize for my mispronunciations. I know I'm screwing up the pronunciation so hard. Just, there goes Yugoslavia. Holy crap! Yeah, holy, oh my goodness. They got rid of those guys very quickly. Nice. We gotta play Zostri too sometime, but. Yeah, I apologize for my mispronunciations. Come on, Armenia, beat up the Caucasus Brigades. And embrace your orders, yes. More stability is always good for the kingdom. Or caliphate. Yeah. Um. Sure, that. There you go, cool. Yeah, we could really use guns. Jihadis. Well, we'll see. We can't make anything, but. We got 50 convoys and no, no ports. <laughs> but challenge the Salafists after we do this one first, of course. Get some more research speed. Um, the Ulama Council will do everything in its power to challenge the relatively new Salafi movement and its sister, Wahhabism. Wahhabism. These two sects that go against everything Sufism advocates for will be vehemently confronted every opportunity. We lose civilian po political power. Oh, that's not good. Wow, that sucks. <clears throat> Allah wills progress. We must learn from the mistakes of the sublime port, and the most important lesson we can gather from the 600 year long Ottoman rule is progress. When they were the most advanced country in Europe with a state of the art technolo technology, like the Basilic, they dominated, they conquered the city of the world's desire, but the moment they stagnated, the moment they lagged behind, the West took advantage of it. We must make sure to never end up in the same way. Wow, you get no more political power, even though it's green, you get 50% better consumer goods and more cap. Interesting. That's. interesting and. Oh, they're doing quite well. Alright, well, we'll see. Uh, that's painful doing that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. The Believer's Economy versus the Believer's Army. Um, I like the population, less attrition. We need military factories, though. None of this matters if we have no military factories. When do we get millies? Do we get military factories? We get one. Martyrs of Islam. We do get three down here, which is nice. And you do get more attack and defense, which you do like. 
49 days for 3, or 35, 35, 35, 49, oh my gosh, we're one. Uh, we're going to have to rush down this way. As much as I want to do this stuff, we're going to go down to the Believer's Army so we can get some military factories. Our army must have faith in our creator, with the bravery that comes with being a true believer. With the determination that comes with being a true believer, our forces will be unstoppable. Also, I did leave this on historical, so we'll see what happens. Um, I don't I don't trust these guys, so let's just let's stay over here for now, maybe. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, challenge is super easy. Yeah, these guys exploded, which is cool. Actually, you guys do have... Yeah. Oh, this is Churchill. That's away. Cool. And then these guys, Kazim Arbe, has some as, as well. That is just... That is just so cool. I'm sorry. That's so cool. And then we have uh, Mr. Workers Congress over here. Yeah, there's a lot of different things here in this mod. Uh, obviously, a lot of it's not done yet, but like... It's still a demo. Totally fine. But like... I'm interested in seeing how far this mod can go. As you can tell, if you, if you follow this no, channel at all, like, I've been playing this quite a bit, so. Yeah. Just, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go with Imperial Training next. A good training routine is key. We shall gather ours from the all the empires that fought here. Kafir or not, for they are the ones that knew Anatolia's environment like no other. So we do get one more. Just one, not 1%, but one! Divisional organization, 1% more recruitable population, 10,000 manpower, and 10% less division attrition. I hope no one tries to kill us, kill us off too early. Oh, it's a 49 day focus. Holy crap. Uh, that's not great. That sucks. I just want to have a strong caliphate. I just want lots of jihad. Martyrs of Islam. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so long to get down there. Anatolia and Sharia. That sounds like fun. Martyrs of Islam, though. Those who leave their homes in the cause of Allah and, and are then slain or die. On them will Allah bestow verily a goodly provision. Truly Allah is he who bestows the best provision. Verily he will admit them to a place with which they shall be well pleased, for Allah is all-knowing, most forbearing. Al-Hajj 59 to 59, or 58 to 59, our soldiers, uh, what was that, uh, take these words to heart, and not one of them will... Uh, and not one of the them is scared of martyrdom. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, as you can tell, the text isn't 100% there yet, but it's fine. I'm sure these people are not English speakers, native English speakers, which is, you know, they're doing the best. They'll get cleaned up eventually. We're semi-industrialized. Cool. <clears throat> well, let's go ahead and do infantry. Yeah, might as well. Still 36. Uh, should be done soonish. Not bad. Martyrs of Islam and the tools for warfare. We must create workshops to create tools of warfare to keep our proud soldiers seasoned. Well, I mean, yeah, we need tools for warfare. We just need tools, period. The Cairo, very cool. Good luck with that. Uh. Oh. Cool. What? Huh? Where, where did you come from? What? What? Hey, Mr. Handsome. Whoa. I apologize if you can't hear anything in the background. It's just... I've, I've done it a few times already, so I apologize for it, but just it is what it is. We're still mobilizing. Nice. Yeah, let these guys kill each other off first. Uh, Martyrs of Islam. Good, thank goodness. We got that one done. A few more population and more reinforce rate. Uh, we, have, we have a planned economy. Ulema Council. So, not bad. I just want to form the Islamic Caliphate, man. Can we annex Istanbul? So as long as these people don't exist, we'll, be, we'll do okay. We just literally annex the Istanbul Ottoman British District. Cool. So we gotta be the last one still here. That's kinda gonna, gonna suck, man. Not gonna lie, gonna kinda suck. Get some more reinforce rate. Um, since we're here. There you go, normal infantry. Uh, since we have 30, let's make them at least 10 first to begin. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That'll make him a little bigger. Uh, we don't even have. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go and go do that one. I think that ought to be okay. So we have that one done. So we're kind of ready for war with, with the way the way we're going already. Um, let's go with the believers' economy. Yeah. Our economy and industry must be developed in such a fashion that our people are productive and produce enough to live comfortable lives and raise healthy families. Whilst also making sure there aren't enough goods in the market for anyone to fall into the decadence of consumerism. Yes, consumer, not communism here. No, 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 no. Consumerism. So we got that. We need, oh god, we need steel. Get some arty and get some of that too. As much as I want to get more guns. I don't think we'll get tanks either. There you go, Syria. Bye, Syria. I 
I definitely want to get some engineers. We got to get some RD on our guys. Um, yeah, that'll definitely help us out. That's fine. Do that one first. Mm, I'm going to convert one of you guys over. And we're going to get, need to get engineers. I believe his economy is good. Let's grab lay the groundwork, right? Because there's going to be another milli as well. Our state is backwards with little to no industry. While this is good in the sense that mindless consumerism is avoided, we must modernize our economy to some extent if we're able to win this conflict. Or if we want to really win. Let's go ahead and trade off for one steel we can. That'll be good. Uh, oh, there goes those guys. Uh-oh. 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 Western Revolutionary. Oh, these guys. Well, that's not good. Uh, that's a massive border, man. I might have to do some funky stuff here. Honestly, that's just too big of a border for us to guard. Uh, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That, that's literally all we can do. That's literally all we can do. Uh, if I have to, I will use, I guess, console commands. Just because. Yeah, that's not cool. This is not cool, man. How are we supposed to be able to do anything here? Maybe not. Maybe we're not supposed to. So, yeah, I'll probably have to use console commands or something like that. I don't want them to come in, but... These guys are so weak. Let the groundwork, yeah. Open the first factory. With the groundwork laid, it's time for us to open our first factory. Unlike the degenerate Westerner whose factory's sole purpose is to make useless knickknacks and other frivolous things. Our factory's purpose is to arm the faithful so that the Uma is properly defended from all things evil. Stability. Oh, we can get some stuff here. You know what? Actually, let's do this one first. Did Jihad. Cool. Yeah, cause look at that. What are we supposed to do here? Um, yeah, there's not really much we can do about this. Yeah, probably definitely have to use uh, console commands for this. This stuff, this sucks. There you go, get some planes. <laughs> are, th are they doing force attack or something here? Because look how weak they are. Like, holy crud. Yeah, this is not very balanced. So, I'm going to be right, right back. Alright, everyone. So, totally didn't have to use Cons commands, and the Caucus Brigade totally didn't take everything out from us. Um, yeah, yeah, that w it's not very balanced right now. And, you know, I, I get it that maybe we're not too technologically advanced here, but they were office apparently giving us equipment as well. Yeah, it's not great for us. Really not great for us here. So, okay, that's really bad. Um, hmm. Also, let's go ahead and do a couple of these. I did the Believer's Armies. I did open the first factories and build minor manufactories. We must build manufactories so that they can help our workers and artisans in their holy duty developing the lands of Islam. But we must make sure that they're minor enough so that the faithful don't get tempted by the evils of consumerism. We're doing connect Konya with Kasserai. Roads and railroads between the capital and Konya must be built so we can more effectively administer the region. And I'll probably do connect the Kasserai with Sivas. The same must be done for Sivas and the capital in order to connect the entirety of our realm state and Islamic science. We must develop in the scientific field so that one day we may be the leading force in science and culture like we were before the Mongols. Very cool. Totally, totally didn't you have to use cons commands to delete the enemy's armies and such like that because we totally were in a great position for us, but we still gotta do Islamic science. And we'll go ahead and annex Istanbul, sure why not, we'll try that and form the Islamic Caliphate. Uh, yeah, yeah why not, we got the Caliphate here. It's really hard to hear anything. My apologies. But as long as that's, I at least want to get the, the focus tree here, so. Yeah, the Caliphate, definitely not ready for prime time. Definitely not. You don't have enough manpower. You don't have enough. You literally start with no, no factories except for like one or two civvies, maybe. So, I kind of get it why it's like that, but still. At the same time, I'm like. Mm -hmm. It needs more. It de this, it, it, this mod is just a demo. It's just a demo to begin, but. Still. Like, bro. It needs a little bit more love. Just a little bit more. Something else going on? Yeah. 
Uh, Salva Prayers. Well, let's do this one first. Okay, no, there's your slot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cool. Um, getting up in the morning to have Salva Prayers. Getting up early in the morning means our soldiers can accomplish more during the day, so it is critical that all squads have their morning prayers. Muhammad Ahmad's Legacy. Muhammad Ahmad was a Sufi leader in Sudan who kicked out the Ottomans out of Sudan, creating an independent Sudanese state. After independence, he beat the British who wanted to conquer the region. Sadly, he passed away six months after kicking the British out in 1885, but the independent state that he founded would continue to exist until 1899. What follows the example? And kick out all foreign colonies and foreign influences like Kemalism, Inverism, Communism, and similar influences so that the lands of Anatolia can prosper under the light of is Islam. And then, Tekbir. Tekbir. Our leader shall shout from the rooftops, Takbir and her blessed troops shall answer Alu Allahu Akbar. Cool. Cool. Followed up with uh, Zealous Communities. Zealotry is considered a negative trait in the so called enlightened countries of the West, so it is understandable to see why the complete collapse of the empires are happening as we speak. What the West doesn't understand is that different groups inside the country can and should be zealous for the groups. As long as those groups are kept separate, they will reap the benefits of zealotry. Those being complete loyalty and industriousness, without the downside of zealotry which it conflicts with other groups for they cannot have conflicts with other groups. And these groups are nowhere near their community. We get 50% more stability. Oh, and I guess since we totally didn't use Consequence for this, we actually can choose someone here. Cap. Experience gain. Nodi. Killigil. Cool. Tech beard, I guess we'll do next. And a better house of wisdom. Alright. Cool. And armor. British armor. Well, that just makes more sense to go that way. At this point, it doesn't really ma me matter too much if we let technology go, so. There you guys. Go ahead and train. You guys totally did well and. Didn't, I didn't have to use consequence at all. Totally didn't. So this is what. What is this? The United Arab Republic. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Michael Aflac and Tekbir, a better house of wisdom. With our modern capabilities, we achieve feats and sciences that the great thinkers in the House of Wisdom couldn't have even gotten close to in their wildest dreams. It is for this reason that we will build a new House of Wisdom that surpasses the original in every way. We will invite scientists and thinkers from all four corners of the world to come and further humanity. That's nice having cores, but, like, yeah, I don't know. Like I said earlier, the Caliphate definitely needs more work. They need to be slightly more balanced so they can actually withstand attacks. Like, I get it. Like, they're not supposed to be, like, like I said, super, or maybe industrialists. But, like, we still need something here, man. We still need something here. Still need a little bit of love. Uh, there you go. You can do that, too. That's fine. Here are lots of cities, because you can. Tekber. Tekbir. House of Wisdom. Uh, Ascari Mansuri I Muhammadiye. The Ottomans have an army corps that they disbanded just before the Great War named Askari Mansuri I Muhammadiye. We shall recreate this force in order to create the illusion of recreating past glories so that those that want to recreate the Empire join the ranks of the armed forces. And I'm sure you guys are just cringing at me trying to uh, pronounce a lot of these words. Just absolutely cringing. Cool though. Actually, we don't need that. Thank you. Uh, let's grab a little bit of aluminum. That's fine. Followed up with Ottoman military legacy. Ottoman military doctrine that are, that is left for us are all useless. We do not have a huge pool of kafir to use in Devshrim, the Shirma. It is for this reason that we must look towards other doctrines if we wish to survive and eventually thrive. Not bad. We get 1.7 political power every single day. That's that's a lot, man. That is a lot. Cool. And you guys just do that. There you go. Can't you go to war with them? That'd be kind of nice. Since we're here anyways. Normal infantry. So now we can actually do stuff here. If we really wanted to. Really wanted to. There you go. Do that too. Nice. Past. Fast and steady. While well, Aesop might claim that one must be slow and steady to win, we do not simply have the luxury to be slow. It's for this reason that our officers must learn to lead while both being fast and steady. More speed? Can we actually go to war with you guys? Oh, that'd be so cool. How strong are they? A lot of manpower like us. We have a million. They might have a lot of divisions. I kind of want to go to war with them, but... Eh. Oh, yeah. War for Palestinian liberation. I mean, our guys are 20 combo with, which is pretty nice, actually. But still. Alright. Well, a few days left for this. Semi-industrial state. Agrarian society. Industrial society. Post-industrialized society. Authoritarian state. Anarchy. Oligarchy. Colonial government. Cool. Support weapons. Nice. Very nice. Fast and steady. Thank you. And let's also grab what? Oh, yeah, I'll just grab this one. That's fine. 
buying rifles. We need weapons. This is irrefu this is a irrefutable fact. We might have to associate with some less than reputable characters in order to get our hands on the weapons we so desperately needed. But one thing is for certain, we will arm ourselves. Wait. We're buying rifles, but we get stability. I don't understand. What? We just don't get rifles? We don't lose, like, political power or anything like that for rifles and such? But whatever. Happy 1939, everyone. Our soldiers have to develop a deep connection with our creator, so... That, when the time of battle comes, they will fight as if Khalid Ibn al-Wahid is leading them. I am saying these names so incredibly wrong. Cool, looking not too bad. I mean, that's... No, military. That's more normal. Oh, I said we need to get some uh, support equipment too. But, or some engineers. We'll see. Oh! Wait, what? Konya Air Bases. Okay. United in Faith. United in Faith? Cool. So now we get more rifles here, which is fine, but... Alright, to Jana we go. Loss of black consumption, better division recovery by quite a bit, Le better division defense, supply grace, and breakthrough for 10 days. Or 10% or breakthrough for 200 days. That's not too bad, but. Mashallah. Mashallah. Cool. Service by requirement. Actually, we can probably go back down to this one. Uh, yeah, let's try that one. We have enough PP, doesn't even matter, so. Wait. Wait. We need. It requires coin. Do we have a Konya Airbase? No? Yeah, mm, I don't see it. To Jihad. Anatoly under Sharia. Um, yeah, that's weird. Okay, so there must have been another focus here. Is there... Hello? No, that's the only thing here we have right now, so... Alright. And this is, these aren't cores, right? Yeah, it's not cores. It's fine. Tbilisi? Cool. Um, I definitely need to play as Austria, like I said earlier at the beginning of this episode, but still. Does the run that have anything here? No. No, they don't. That sucks. Bavaria. No. I'm sure these guys don't have anything either. The Dutch. The Russians definitely don't. The Polish still exist for some reason still. No. Nah, Bulgaria. Probably not. Romania. Or what's left of Romania. Italy. Greece. Arabia. Definitely does not. Alright. So... Um, here, here's all the, uh, oh wait, do we have, hello, is something hiding here? We have an, there's another one we can do? I think it's just hiding, I, I don't see anything else here. So here's all the console commands I've used earlier. Totally didn't use these, totally didn't. Um, FA, focus, got no checks. Uh, our soldier that, yeah, we got, uh, uh, uh well. I guess that's going to be it for us then. Uh, there's literally nothing else we can do, so I'm not seeing any other focuses. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll catch you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.